Hey, what's up, guys? Alex here, your Viri Guide, and today I want to show you a cool trick that I learned from my friend Karim while working with shell modifier in 3D Max. And for that example, I need to show you my chair. And as you see here, I'm going to a wireframe, and my chair got double facing. You can see that we have double uh, double facing inside this model. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this model and I'm going to get to this double mesh. And as you see here, I used shell. If I'm not using shell, I have single face. And if I'm using shell, I'm actually duplicating and making making it thicker, but I'm getting the second uh, second face, second layer of faces. So how do I avoid it? In order to keep my structure, I need to put all the modifiers uh, after the last one because I used here FTD in order to stretch and get the perfect uh, proportion for my model. So what I'm going to do is first I need to go to my shell and tick here override materials and give to the override inner material a number. For instance, number two. If I have here one, three, so number two is available, so I'm going to give number two. After I've done this, I can go to my last modifier that was applied and add a editable mesh. I'm going to select my polygons and I'm going to scroll down to my set ID and I'm going to give selected number two. So I'm going to select the inner one and after applying delete mesh modifier, voila, I'm getting one face model with all the modifiers applied, with all the FDDs and everything. So this is how I solve my problems with double facing. Okay, so uh, go ahead, use that tip. Uh, if you find it useful, post some comments below this video and I'll be more than glad to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. This was Alex, your video guide. Talk soon. Ciao.